Um, this is not the first David versus David grudge match, but historical nonetheless. All right, updating the bracket now, even though you can't see it at home just yet. Dave Kaplan, of course, into round two. Um, what does everybody think of this matchup? Lands versus Reanimator. I feel like Reanimator is favored. What does everybody think? Any agreements? Kaplan goes to 19, fetching on turn one. Ryan Fisher and Phil Nguyen played on, uh, they're in the chat right now. They played on Monday along with Luanil, also in the chat. Um, in our pre-modern stream, if you enjoyed our pre-modern stream, let us know in chat. It was a lot of fun. Rockman is here. Rockman playing next round. Yeah, with open deck lists, it might be worth it to aggressively mulligan, yeah. Ponder. One thing I was thinking about, and chat can let me know, and our, and our group chat can let me know, um... Having open deck lists only for games two and three. So game one, you're blind. Might be kind of fun. Yeah, main deck tide spout against lands. Not very good. Yeah, true. If David Thomas Tao has bog, I believe he does. Yes, there is a Bajuka bog. Lands, one of our most popular deck archetypes. On our on our YouTube channel, if you're not following our YouTube channel, 90s MTG on YouTube, um, our our viewers and followers love the lands decks. Very popular. Always perform the best. Yeah, then they can't watch the stream. That's true, Jason. That's true. But you can watch the stream and not click on Cardboard Live. <laughs> they not see the entire list. Kaplan is playing blue, so he can easily counter the trop. This is true. Blue black reanimator. So blue black reanimator maybe a little bit easier for lands, or a little bit tougher for lands next to red black reanimator. What do people think? David Thomas Tao played Machine Head and Balancing Things on pre-modern on in pre-modern on Monday. And those are some of the coolest decks we've had on stream in a while. The VODs are up on this Twitch channel and will be sprinkled out through the next week or two on YouTube as well. We had Counter Rebels. We had Elves, Balancing Things, Machine Head, Dead Guy L, and probably another deck that I'm forgetting. Oath of Druids. Maybe that was it. Let's tune into the players, see what they're up to. Couple feel the dead. Four stage, three depths. Kaplan now reading off Two David Tao's list. I guess he's trying to figure out what he needs to do here. Maze of Ith is pretty good here. You know, we were we were talking about during the break if um, Daniel Ara had won game one, uh, round one. And play it against David Thomas Tao, but David Thomas Tao ran his uh, Draco pre-modern deck instead. He could uh, Daniel could have cunning wished for release the ants, played it, did the clash, resolved the clash, revealed an Emrakul on the top fifteen, and David Thomas Tao revealed Draco on top sixteen and won. How exciting would that have been? On a rating to 1 to 16, I rated it a 16 for excitement. Another ponder here. <laughs> Daniel Avery says, no, not fun. Sorry, Daniel. Daniel now has the record for quickest loss on 90s MTG stream. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Daniel. It's just funny. You now have the record, though. You have a record. <laughs> and the longest game yeah that's true you do also have the longest round in history speaking of longest round i forgot again damn it to start the clock 
Uh, all right. Let's subtract five minutes. Now the clock's going. Was it faster than my match against Roland when he was on Blue Red Delver? I believe so. Yes, Daniel. Math says your average is great. This is true. Fortunately, we're not going with uh, median. Just average. Lots of uh, can tripping so far for Kaplan and no action for Tao, David Tao. Just, uh, just lands from lands. Just working out something. Technical difficulties, maybe. I don't know. All right, I'm going to entomb. Sure. Does David Tao have the crop rotate into Bajuka Bog to stop this nonsense? I wonder. Can I get... Uh... Jubei Ninja is here. What's up? How's it going? Yeah, you can wait for Tide Spout. I think so. Tide Spout Tyrant is pretty good. Jin Kataxis. Okay. Jin to Texas is now in the graveyard for Kaplan. So Jin to Texas, just to refresh everybody's memory in case you can't see it on Cardboard Live. A flash, 10 drop, 5-4. The beginning of your end step, draw seven cards. And each opponent's um, hand size is reduced by seven. So every turn you draw back up to seven, and your opponent discards basically down to zero at the end of every turn yeah uh Jinja taxius would likely replace gristle brand if gristle brand ever was banned which would be surprising i just saw a reanimate hit the yard for some reason wait what happened here oh must have been a uh, careful study i missed it <clears throat> Oh, yeah, right. You draw seven. Sorry. You draw seven. Your opponent's hand size is reduced to zero, basically. Whatever. You guys I'll can look up the card yourself. The... <laughs> Jinkataxis. Cards in hand? I have four. In response, flood with blast zone, tap Bayou, crop rotate, sack and blast zone. All right, here's the crop rotation that everybody wanted. Jinka Taxis is still in the graveyard. I'm going to force that. I'll pitch a Sphinx to the Steel Wind. I'll go to 16. You have two in hand? Yes. All right, the force rule is all. Reanimator still on the stack. I'm going to crop rotate sacking by you. Wow, nice. A bog here would be brutal. That one's good. I love it. Give a bog trigger. Target you. Okay. All right. That sucks Got for it. Kaplan. You have two in hand? I do. Okay. Go ahead. What a play. Drop. Jam some emotes if you were cheering for the second crop rot there. Um, <laughs> I'll cast Life from the Loam, targeting Bayou, Blast Zone, Wind Swept Teeth. Sure. All right. Bayou, Blast Zone, Wind Swept Heat to hand off the Loam. Um, so now the mm -hmm. engine for David's going to be um, up and running. If he wants to. I'll pass. Epic crop rotation there for Bog. Um, if, if Kaplan, um, sorry, if, uh, they're both named David, so I keep trying not to say the word David. If David Tao can get, uh, Maze of Ith or Wasteland, um, 
loam online with a Bajukabog could be pretty pretty much a lock, right? I wonder if Kaplan anticipated this and got Jin Tataxius instead of Tide Spout. Maybe. Why go for Jin Tataxius in this situation, do you think? Is is refilling the hand? Oh, here's Gristlebrand. Okay. Gristlebrand is now in play. So David Tao now needs a uh, Mazavith pretty badly. But the Mind Twist... Is it is it effective against uh, Loam? Is there any risk? Is there any risk with Jin Tataxius? Would have been a better question. What are the risks with choosing that over, let's say, Tide Spout Tyrant or Gristlebrand or any other creatures in the deck? Is discarding the lands is lands discarding their hand risky at all? Exploration comes down. I don't think uh, Kaplan cares about that. Yeah, exact. Yeah, so why bother mind twist if the only card they need is crop rotation? Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. But maybe this was all some kind of a. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Decoy. Or. Way worse than Gristle Brand against Caracas too. Yeah, that's true. Caracas would be pretty good right here. Let's see with. Um, David Tao does. Dark Depths. And a Wind Swift Heat. All master. Back. 12. 13. I'll pay 7. 6. Okay, so Kaplan back down to 6, drawing 7 off Crystal Brand after connecting for an attack. I'm going to try and get another creature in play. If David Tao can create a Merit Lage, that would also be quite good. Unless, um... All right, Brainstorm Resolving here. Unless Kaplan can get Tide Spout Tyrant online. Tide Spout Tyrant, pretty damn good in this situation. What just happened? Oh, he's looking at his graveyard. Okay. Sorry about the sounds there. I th think my email sound was coming through the stream. Not sure how that happened. Whatever. Um, yeah, um, that's a good question. They both seem like hard matchups. It's funny too. I was talking to the round one players and they were both trying to guess the deck range of the round one opponent. So Daniel was trying to guess what Kaplan would be on. Kaplan was trying to guess what Daniel would be on. But they both didn't seem to consider... We, didn't, we talked about it very briefly. They both didn't seem to consider what was happening above them in the bracket. What David Thomas Tao was playing. What Alan Yu was playing. Etc. And Roland's in the last round. Everybody puts him on Delver. We'll have to see later what deck he's playing. But um, yeah, I think Lands would prefer Reanimator. I agree with that, Jason. Um, what what would Depths prefer? Does Depths have a different preference, Jason? Does Depths prefer Omnitel or Reanimator? I think Depths prefers to play against Reanimator, right? Yeah, I'd probably guess the same, Daniel. Yeah, that's what we refer to Reanimator. Yeah. Thinking how I want to order these. I know. Kaplan at five life now. A lot has happened since this Gristlebrand connected for seven damage. I don't know how many cards in hand for David. Tau. I keep saying David. Gotta be careful. They're both named David. 
Do it like that. Draw. Careful study. Okay. All right, another careful study. What are we going to discard here? I think Dave Kaplan has drawn like 27 cards this turn. Is it possible? Is it possible he won't get another creature into play? Discard uh, Underground Sea and Animate Dead. Okay. And I'll cast uh, Ponder. Okay. Yeah, Roland, if you if you are starting in round two, though, let's say... I'm just going to save time and crack wind, Subti. Yep. How many cards will you have in hand after the Ponder? Six. Okay. If the if you're starting in round two, you're David Thomas Tao. How do you decide what deck you're going to play? Do you decide based on what you think Daniel or Daniel uh, Daniel or um, Dave Kaplan will be playing, or do you decide based on what Alan above you on the bracket will be playing? Okay. So if you're I'll cast is life from a loam targeting the three lands in my graveyard. <laughs> All Somehow Kaplan did not get another creature. I go to four. Okay. Where's it hand? Four. I'll play a blast zone. Blast zone comes down. Tap these two. Uh, and tap these two. I will life from the lump targeting the three lands in my graveyard. Sure. So I think that's one land drop so far for for David um, Tao. Cards in hand? Four. All right, I'll play a Thespian stage and I'll pass the turn. Ooh, Merit Lage online. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. He doesn't have enough he doesn't have enough mana yet. He doesn't have enough mana. I was seeing the exploration as another land. Merit Lage potentially next turn, though. Is it worth it to just pick the deck that you're most proficient at and hope for the best? <laughs> Is that ever a plan? Because the uh, bracket seems impossible to predict. Especially with... Uh, you know, players like David Thomas Tao with a wide range. P players like um, Dave Kaplan, who tries something different every week. Jesse Ma, something different every week. Every month, maybe. Maybe not as frequently changing decks, but still changing decks. Exhum. There's Iona. You have how many cards? I have three. Merit Lage could get created here within a turn. I wonder what color he named with that. Um, Probably red. He's gone through three crop rotations. I guess he's thinking about which color to choose now. Do you choose red to shut off Punishing Fire? I'll or name green. green. Okay. All pack. Four. I go to 11. Mm -hmm. And I'll play a uh, polluted delta. Yeah, I agree with you, Ryan. And I'll pass. What does David David Tao need here? Caracas. Got it. All right, oh, game one goes to Kaplan. I messed up there. I didn't mean to take that long. All right, so players talking about taking a little long on the one turn. Charge counter on blast zone. This is true. Okay. I'll keep this. Yep, I'm good. 
I'll start off with the Grove of the Born Burn Willows, and I'll pass turn. Did both of you keep seven? Nope. We both kept six. six. Oh, okay. Thanks. C Ponder. Um, I'll have you gain one life. And I'm gonna pyroblast that. Wow, Py aggressive pyroblast on the ponder. I like it. I love it. Kaplan goes to twenty one. It's a combo night, yeah, so far. Does lands count as a combo deck, everybody? Would you would you consider lands a combo deck? And if you're going to divide decks into three, three um, genres, <laughs> control, aggro, or combo, what's what would the other category be? I guess like mid range, right? Sphere of resistance. Sphere of resistance is down. Prison. Okay. Well, that's a whole other uh, combo prison. Okay. Lands is weird. Lands is uh, kind of... It's, it gets kind of muddy. Yeah, I was thinking of, of lands as kind of control, but I guess prison is under the umbrella of control, right? More control than combo? More control than combo, says uh, J Winner. Daniel says control... Like Rogue Skaters. Control, but often plays prison roll versus combo decks pulls forward. Yeah. Is lands control or combo? We're going to do a poll. All right. The options will be control or combo. Vote now in the poll. Not much has gone on so far. Brainstorm resolving. Feel of the Dead is in play. I'll have you gain one. And I'll Power Blast that. Wow. Another Power Blast on a cantrip. I love it. I think I'm rooting for David Thomas Tau. Oh, yep. Down a game. I like underdogs. Let's check on this poll. Careful study. Sure. <laughs> All right, everybody's voting for control. Everybody's voting for control, folks. This is very important data we're collecting here. No cantrips for cap, except for careful studies. Yeah, how many cards left? Everything costing one more is a bit brutal for Kaplan Scarlet as well. Scarlet Force and the Delta. Okay. And I'll pass. Cards in hand? Four. I'll draw. Roland says he voted combo. The results of this poll will be posted somewhere. Somewhere important, like our Twitter page. I'll play a maze of it, and I'll pass turn. Control is overwhelmingly winning the poll, folks. So many mini combos equals one huge combo? Yeah. <laughs> Careful study. Sure. Another careful study. Thespian stage in play for um, for David Tao. He can make a second Mazavith if needed. That seems pretty good. Life and Alone versus uh, uh, plus Mark Stop. Yeah, that might be the best. Force. Sure. Discards Mentor and Force. We sided in Mentor against Lands. Um, Maybe thinking Tabernacle won't be in. Okay, just my turn. Go. I'll play Wasteland. Um, cards in hand? Four. Well, four I'll cards in hand for Kaplan. <laughs> Dreadroad Arcanist plus Brainstorm plus Broken Combo, yeah. Lands plus Exploration. I meant equals Broken Combo. Yeah, Lands plus Exploration is broken. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, maybe you're right, Jason. Control overwhelmingly won the poll, everybody. So this this has been decided. We will discuss this matter no more. Reanimate now. I believe targeting Mentor. Yeah. David Tao, think about a response. Have you gained one? I'm going to crop rotate my maze a bit away. Uh, crop rotating. Yeah. Sacking maze. How many cards do you have? One. Likely searching for bog here. Yep. Mythic Common, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Mythic Common says, go Lance. Go Lance. I agree. I'm rooting for Lance here. I want David David Thomas Tao to take this down after getting uh, Iona and Gristle Branded in game one. And to avenge the quick destruction of Daniel Ayra in round one. <laughs> Copy of Wasteland. All right. It's copying okay. Wasteland with Best Stage on end step. Who are you rooting for, chat? Are you rooting for Lands or are you rooting for Reanimator? Like stage. Another Thespian stage. Going to Wasteland or Scrubland. Scrubland goes down. Then I'm going to make my new Thespian stage a copy of the Thespian stage that's a wasteland. And I'm going to wasteland one of your underground seas. <laughs> You're okay. So the other stage is still a wasteland? It's a wasteland, yeah. With the ability, with the Thespian stage ability. David Thomas Tao, so we can take out Alan. Roland hoping to see David Thomas Tao in the finals. It's been it's been made clear now who Roland really wants to f fight with tonight. <laughs> he doesn't want another rematch against Rockman. Rockman says, ouch. All right. It looks like chat is unanimously uh, rooting for Lance here. If you're rooting for Reanimator, make yourself known because everybody's rooting for Lance and... Reanimator could use some support right now. Actually, there's no chain in Kaplan's deck, so I think it would have been pretty safe to 2020. Yeah. Um, can't bring in Plow in this matchup, you're thinking, Jason? Looks like we're going to see Loam here. Turning in a couple of lands. I'll play Wasteland. I'll waste one of your underground seas. Oh, the blue. Underground sea goes down. Move to combat. Moldratha. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Good to see some uh, Dominaria creatures in chat. <laughs> Jube Ninja says, well, yeah, no reanimator fans here tonight. No reanimator fans. Loam and Wasteland seems like GG's, yeah. I mean, what are what are David's outs here? With Sphere of Resistance down, it's looking rough. 14 minutes left in the round. All right. I'll waste your other underground seat. I'll pass turn. Fetch. <clears throat> 23. So, if Kaplan win, uh, if Kaplan loses game two, game three being on the play, how much of an advantage is that? Is that too much of an advantage? Phil Nguyen thinks it's over. Phil Nguyen thinks it's over. Phil Nguyen, if N Phil Nguyen says it's over, it's over, folks. I should just call this game right now. Tell them it's over. If you're Kaplan, do you scoop here to save time? Maybe the player's not aware of the clock. 
I'll let them know when 10 minutes are left. Loam. Uh, did not see what cards were dredged there. I did see a Dark Depths, though. Kaplan does have two basics. This is true. This is true. The choke from the Spheres of Resistance seems rough, though. Seems brutal to work around that. Despian Stage comes down. We saw that go back to hand last turn. Good game with that Depths. Yeah. Scoop to Depths. Yep. Sphere of Resistance and Pass. Now it's definitely over. <laughs> By the way, did everybody agree with my picks for uh, our 90s MTG party? I had Phil Blackman as the rogue, Phil Nguyen as the cleric. I was thinking because you played cleric in Travel Wars. Warrior was Jason Murray because of uh, Elvis Reclaimer. And Wizard was none other than Roland MTG. Does this make sense, everybody? The pedal on the pedal playmat. Yeah, it's like a uh, meta. I'm just going to players know where they are. All right, you guys got about 12 minutes left, just so you know. Okay, right. thank you very much. Jube Ninja, which... Uh, Jube Ninja, I keep forgetting. Which um, party type would you be? It's a great restaurant, yeah, but I don't know why it's the name of this deck. Is that like a reanimator inside joke? Dinosaur barbecue? If it is, I haven't heard the joke before. Let me know in chat what uh, party creature type you are. Collecting more data. Where are the ceratops? Yeah, no ceratops. I don't know. I, I, I don't get the name of this deck. Maybe he just thought it'd be funny to just put the randomness name. I know randomness is not a word. Two discarded Thespian stages and a wasteland to start. Fetch for Kaplan and a turn one end step in tomb. It is not running reg register. Yeah, I, I. this is not tin fins either. At least not in my mind. We'll ask Kaplan about the deck name because it's, it's completely random to me, I guess. A warrior is close to a ninja. Yeah, I agree. Ninjas seem to get along with warriors. All right, Gristlebrand is in the yard for Kaplan. Wasteland and two Mox Diamonds in play. We could see a crop rot here for Bajukabog. That is a possibility. I missed if these players mulliganed. All right, reanimate on Gristlebrand, and we're seeing a response. Crop Rot, Sack Wasteland in response. Floating a colorless, forcing that. Both players with good hands here. All right. Russell Brown is in play, and uh, Kaplan goes down to 10. I must have missed the third damage. Whatever. Yeah, the crop rot not good enough, but Maze of Ith is in play now. Damn, both players had excellent hands for game three here. Uh, game t uh, yeah, this is game three. Sorry, I forgot to update the score. This is game three. My bad. Tony is here, and Tony is a wizard. What's up, Tony? Uh, attack. Maze of it. Uh, brainstorm. Sure. We may get the tiebreaker tonight, folks. If this round goes to time. Fetch. Two. Fetch for Kaplan. Goes to nine. Oh, is he going to is he going to two? 
Uh, if he is, I missed it. Oh, I guess he did draw seven. I guess I missed that. Careful study. Results. Discard a uh, tide spout tyrant and right, tide spout tyrant seems I'll pretty play good. A land and I'll pass. Cards in hand? Seven. Okay. I'll tap. I'll draw. <clears throat> Yeah, Punishing Fire would end the game here. Do you take out Punishing Fire in this matchup, though, if you're a lands? Does Punishing Fire get sided out? Five minutes left in the round. I'll play a Thespian Stage and I'll pass. Thespian Stage can copy Maze of Ith. That seems pretty good. Kaplan will not be able to connect with Gristlebrand here. Yeah, I, I think Punishing Fire has to be cut. Fuck. Maze. I'll play Exhum. Okay. Oof, that's rough. Tide Spout. And I'll pass. End of turn. I'm going to make Thespian Stage a copy of the Maze of Death. Sure. Okay. All right. Mythic Common says keep in one for this exact situation. Yeah, but you have to draw it, right? I don't know if that's correct. Maybe some of our other Lance fans in the in the chat can can uh, back you up on I'll that. Power Blaster Tide Tyrant. Ooh, nice. I like that. I'll force that pitching a ponder, bouncing your thespian stage. Okay. <clears throat> I'll replay stage. I'll pass. <clears throat> what does Kaplan, what does uh, David Tao need here? I'll cast Ponder, bounce the maze. Okay. Yikes. Well, Grossel Brand might, might do it here. Chat will be very upset if Lands loses this match. Did we have any Reanimator fans here, or is this an upset, a complete upset, if Reanimator takes it down? Phil Nguyen says, Tide Spout is one of his most, most hated cards. GG, says Jubei Ninja. Hey, welcome, everybody. Thank you, Honorog, for the raid. We're in round two of our NYC Eternal. <laughs> Anu sends his love. Hey, what's up? Uh, round two of our NYC Eternal bracket tonight. Game three, Reanimator versus Lands. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Skyship is here. Twinless Twin. Over Voltage. Grisshole Brander. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> yes, thank you, Anurag. Awesome. I'll share some spicy emotes myself. Lots of emotes getting jammed for the raid. Maze of Ith comes down and pass. Life totals are incorrect. I will fix that now. Deuce Dub, thanks for the follow. <clears throat> All right. That's a, that's a wrap on round two. I was very... Confused as to what was yeah. going on a few times. A few times there, honestly. What's up, guys? That hey, was Chris. a that was a tight, tight match in 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 round three. It looked like the maze of Ith um, with that team in stage was going to get there.